EU residency post Brexit for UK expats it is is a, a thing of wonder. Each individual state within the EU uh, can create its own conditions for residency for non-EU citizens, which now of course includes UK expats. If you had residency uh, of any form, if you had a resident permit before uh, Brexit occurred at the end of 2020, or uh, if you've owned property uh, uh, before uh, Brexit but didn't have a resident permanency, permit, it's at the discretion of each sovereign state of the EU uh, whether they will grant you a residency permit under the old pre-EU rules uh, with the equivalent EU citizens' rights or whether they issue it under post-Brexit uh, rules which is uh, could be cri uh, tied to criteria and, and higher standards of proof. Um, so in Cyprus, for example, if you've owned property for 10 years, it could be that all that the authorities are looking to do is for you to prove that you've got utility bills and you've had continuous ownership of that property to grant you a resident permit or a permanent residency permit. However, um, it, it, that's at the, the local government's discretion. In 2024, Cyprus have changed that. So they've tightened up their discretion rules, but they'll still consider a permanent residency for somebody who has, has owned a property in Cyprus for a longer period of time. They're doing slightly more stringent checks now, and they're more concerned about whether you've been in the country and whether you've um, uh, spent enough time there, whether you're tax resident to be, to be worthy of the permanent resident status which in any jurisdiction gives you the equivalent of, of citizens' rights. Uh, so things have changed. It's different country by country. Uh, consider what your options are. For more help and, help and guidance on permanent residency for UK expats in the EU uh, post-Brexit, contact us at ProPartnership.com.